Hi, this is Dr. Gombele from uh, drg.com. I'm welcoming you to my other series of health presentations and I want to thank you for supporting the morning walk with Dr. Gombele and then um, we will continue doing just that. So we are now entering a new stage of our presentations where we will be talking about diabetes mellitus complications, how it affects the head, the eyes, the chest, the lungs, different organs of the human body. But I thought it was important to start with hypoglycemia. Very prevalent. The place where I work, I mean the hospital, almost every day, if not every other day, we see people coming with low blood sugar. And I thought it was very important for you to know that. But before I start, I invite you to like, to share, and to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when I upload my very, very, very next video, you can be notified. Mwanamboka, Sangoboni, Dokotolo, Munganga, Gombele. Mon ami, comment ça va? Je m'appelle Dr. Gombele. Amigo, que tal? Comment estamos? Su amigo, Dr. Gombele. So, what is hypoglycemia? Uh, do not be afraid of the name. Hypo, in medicine, we use hypo to refer to low. You must have heard about hypotension, right? Hypo, low tension pressure. And then we also refer to hypothermia, low temperature. You go to the doctor and you, they tell you you have hypothyroidism, low thyroid function. And then we also use this to refer to low level of sugar in the blood as hypoglycemia. Hypo, low. Glycemia, sugar in the blood. It is very important for everybody who is diabetic, who is taking care of a family member who is diabetic, who is in charge, supervising, teacher, and within the area of your supervision, somebody is there suffering from diabetes. You need to know something. We say hypoglycemia when the blood count is less than four millimole per liter. For those who use the machine that read small number or the blood sugar that is less than 70 milligram per deciliter those use the machine that read big numbers all right so as in anything in medicine we must know the signs and symptoms all right how do they present all right before I tell you that the hypoglycemia is a serious case, I'm going to tell you a story. A colleague of ours at the hospital where I work, specialist, internist, internist is one who treats a lot of blood sugar pressure, stroke, heart attack. He was type 1 diabetes patient. One morning, the police found him in his car, his head in the steering wheel, and the plate of food in the dashboard. That implies that he had hypoglycemic attack, and maybe he fell some way, he went for the food, but we don't know what happened between the hypoglycemia and the food. Guess what? They brought him dead to the hospital where he was working, and one of us went to pronounce him. I will never forget that. And you might know, well, I don't hear anybody dying from hypoglycemia. hypoglycemia. Yes, it does kill. All right? So from that time, I think uh, we decided to sensitize more when people come to hospital with hypoglycemia. With hypoglycemia. So the signs of hypoglycemia, 
list can go on and on and on, but I picked up some 10 or 9 signs that are very common. One, shaking, shakiness, all right? Patient must start shaking, and that just maybe 3.7. Remember, the, it must be between 7, 4 to 6. If you go below 4, it's hypoglycemia, all right? The heart starts racing, palpitations, sweating. The hands become clammy, all right? And then you feel warm, and sometimes you feel cold, right? And you feel like you want to eat, you're hungry, right? That the sugar going low. And when it gets lower, like below 3, 2.8, 2.9, you become confused. You become irritable, right? You become, the behavior, the change of behavior is so pronounced now. They ask your name, you say something else, they say, come in here, I'm not coming. Everything is, no, 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 no. Everything is just aggression, right? And then if nothing is done, you go into a seizure, coma, and you die, right? So hypoglycemia kills, right? So message to take home for this is what? Any change of behavior on a diabetes patient, the first thing you rule out is what? hypoglycemia. In this case, what do you do? You check the blood sugar, right? What are the causes of hypoglycemia? Medications that we use to treat diabetes are number, are cause number one of hypoglycemia. Either we give too much medications right or you took the medications and then between eating i tell my patient when you put the food in your mouth when you sit to eat and you put the food in your mouth you also put the medication because they said oh doc the food was on the table ladies and i, I took insulin and the phone rang and i went there and i went there and by the time you realize confused when you are Injecting yourself insulin, food must be in your mouth, right, so that you can eat. So the medication that we use are responsible for bringing hypoglycemia. Diet, right? Some diet, you take the medication, yes, but what did you eat? When they are back to, 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 to normal and resuscitate, then we give them sugar, la la la, I say, but grandma or... John or Jean, what did you eat? Um, I ate a cup of tea and then three crackers. That not a meal? Or they will say, I drank a cup of soup. Soup is not a meal. A meal must consist of protein, vegetable, and carbohydrate. Right? So when you take the medication, you must consume. You must eat meal, good, proper meal. Even though the medication is well balanced, but if your meal is very poor, it can lead to hypoglycemia. Uh, talk about the dieting and fasting, right? Uh, starvation, uh, not eating, you know, that can lead to hypoglycemia. There are numerous diseases, we are talking about the cause of hypoglycemia, diseases that can lead to hypoglycemia. I will pause to just mention one particular organ that really, really can lead to hypoglycemia, liver. If you have hepatitis, you have cancer in the liver, you have uh, uh, liver failure, you have cirrhosis, all these can lead to hypoglycemia. And I think I've mentioned it earlier that when we remove liver from somebody, they die of severe hypoglycemia. Diarrhea, huh? diarrhea can lead to hypoglycemia, sepsis, infection in the blood, uh, when the organ starts shutting down, can also lead to hypoglycemia. Cancer in the pancreas, 
and there is one called insulinoma, insulin, noma. So a cancer that produces a lot of insulin, right? So you're having your old pancreas producing insulin and there's a cancer now there, keep on producing insulin, so that will lead you to um, hypoglycemia. Renal failure can also lead to hypoglycemia. Bulimia nerviosa, this is a, a, a mental disorder that people will eat a lot and suddenly they say, well, I don't want the food to stay because it's going to make me fat. And they induce vomiting. Or anorexia nerviosa, that means they restrict the amount of food they eat because they, are, they want to lose weight, they want to look good, but the restriction is so severe that it's affecting the health. You know, they eat a lot, they don't eat much, they drink. That can also lead into hypoglycemia. How do we treat hypoglycemia? Very simple. The treatment of hypoglycemia is very, very simple. Low blood sugar, give more sugar, right? You're hungry, you eat food, right? So, but before you do that though, you need to be sure that the person you're going to give sugar, water, or whatever they drink is coherent, is oriented, is alert, right? How do you do that? You ask, Peter, Peter, yes, yes, where are you? In the house, but he doesn't know where he is. Who am I? You may be the son, the wife, the brother, they don't know. Cut the fingers. How many fingers you see? They don't know. Do not. They are not coherent. If you give them anything, it can go into the wrong direction, get into the lungs, and that you create another problem. But you call Marcia, Marcia, yes, yes. Jean, Jean, yes. Where are you? You're asking where I am. I'm home. Who is talking to you? Oh, you're Pedro. You're Kuminga. Oh, really? Where, 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 what day did, what did is today? That means they are coherent. You can give them something to eat. But you also need to know what is causing. If it's insulin, great. They eat, just make sure they keep on eating. But if they take tablets, if you know you give them some food to eat, it's always advisable to go to the hospital. Because some tablets stays in the blood for three hours, two days, for three days, two days, right? So if you give food to somebody who's taking tablet, then you have to be consistent, giving more and more because they have recurrent hypoglycemia because the medication stays longer in the blood. So hypoglycemia is a problem. So now you know how to prevent hypoglycemia. But it is also important, regular checks, right? If you check your sugar once every three months, you will not know when you get into hypoglycemia, right? But if you check every day, and you know the range, that any blood reading below four, sit down if you're driving, or if you want to go out to drive, or in the morning, and you never drive with blood sugar low than four, guess what? It can also cause accidents, right? It can. It can cause accident, right? In some countries, they, 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 they request that diabetes patient do the check and they have to make sure the, the range is within normal and the behavior of the patient and all diabetic, diabetes patients, the behavior, how do you treat your sugar? How do you manage? Huh? If the police officers are stop you say, did you check your sugar today if you're diabetes? No. Do you have a machine? In those countries, you can get a ticket, right? So they request that diabetes patient check their sugar, and the sugar must always be within normal range. Hypoglycemia is a problem. It's a serious problem, right? And we know now how to diagnose it. We know the causes, and we know the treatment, right? But do not jump into treating unless you assess the mental status of the patient. What do I mean by mental status? Is coherent? Is alert? Does he know where he is? Eh? Answering questions the way you expect to be. So that when you give food, when you give some juice, when you give some drink, Pepsi, anything sweet, so that it can go 
in the normal place it should be and not in the long and you can create another problem so before we end i'm going to invite you again to like share subscribe and then do not forget to click the notification bell so that when i upload my very very next video you can be informed Bote. bye bye au revoir Hasta pronto. See you next.